بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الاحبه في الله كتبوا ان استدي او شيخ محمد بن عبد الوهاب الوصابي الوصابي حفظ الله تعالى his treatise entitled advice for the student of knowledge and we reach the towards the end of the treatise where the sheikh said striving to sit in the gatherings of the righteous in the people of benefit that this is one of the uh, ad pieces of advice that the sheikh advised the talib al ilm the one who's seeking knowledge to practice strive to sit in the gatherings of the righteous and the people of benefit and bearing this in mind you'll find this in many of the books of the salaf or our salaf those ulama from ahlus sunnati wal jamaa who preceded us and who spread kitab illa wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in their books of raqaiq you know the books of uh rendering the heart soft and asceticism and piety and from amongst those great imams is imam anawi rahmatullahi alayh and in his book riyad salihin he entitled one of his chapters bab ziyarat ahl al khair wa mujalasatihim wa suhbatihim wa muhabbatihim wa talab ziyaratihim wa dua minhum wa ziyarat al muwadi' al fadila Imam Nawawi rahmatullahi alayh he entitled one of the chapters in his book Riyadh Salihin the chapter of visiting the pious persons loving them and adopting them as companions or being in their companionship and visiting them and uh asking for them to supplicate for you or making dua for them and the uh visiting of places of benefit so in in that chapter imam anawi he mentioned many ahadith and from some of those ahadith which verify what sheikh muhammad uh muhammad uh muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahhab Wasabi rahmatullahi alayhi what he's saying is a hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam the hadith of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu an an-nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam qala la tusahibu illa al-mu'min wa la ya'kulu wa la ya'kul ta'amaka illa taqi Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reported the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said keep only a believer for a companion and let only a pious person eat your food and then wa an Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu an an-nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala ar-rajul ala din khalilihi ala din khalilihi فَلْيَنْظُرْ أَحَدُكُمْ مَنْ يُخَالِلْ رُوَاهُ أَبُو دَاوُودَ وَتِرْمِذِي بِإِسْنَادِ صَحِيحٍ uh, In this hadith which is in Tirmidhi in Abu Dawood, Abu, the hadith of Abu Hurairah رضي الله تعالى عنه, he reported, I heard the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم saying, man follows his friend's religion. You should be careful who you take for friends. So this shows us to be around that we should be around pious people and in good company and associate ourselves with the people of Ahl al-Khair the people of Ahl al-Sunnah the people who you gain benefit from and who remind you of Allah who help your heart be turned to your Lord Subhanahu wa ta'ala and who help you to keep on talib al-ilm that those people are the people that you want to uh adhere to and be uh in association with wa an abi musa al ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anna nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala al mar'u ma'a man uhib mutafaqun alayhi this is a hadith in bukhari and muslim the hadith of abi musa al ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu 
that the Prophet ﷺ said, a person will be summoned with the one whom he loves. So make sure that you love people of khair. Make sure that you love people of goodness. Don't love the fasakun. Don't be in love with the people who take you away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People who call you back to your pre-Islamic existence. That is not going to benefit you. But be around those who are going to remind you of the akhirah. And those who are going to remind you of khair and sunnah. So likewise, don't be around ahla bid'ah. And those people, even if what they're telling you, it sounds nice, but don't, but avoid their company because they can entice you. They can cause, uh, they can, by being in their company, this can make you want to take them as companions and have love for them to this, to the extent that you begin to justify their bid'ah or follow them in bid'ah and be away from the Suratullahi al mustaqim And so it's imperative for the believer to be in righteous company and be in the gatherings of good. And min bab al-awla, kama qala shaykh, is this is advice for the talib al-ilm. So the shaykh said in this, he said, and Allah the glorified and magnificent said to his prophet وسلم, restrain yourself with those who call on their Lord morning and evening, desiring his goodwill, and not, let not your eyes pass from them, desiring the beauties of this world's life. And do not follow him whose heart we have made unmindful to our remembrance. And he follows his low desires. And his case is one in which due bounds are exceeded. So look at those. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to those people who transgress the bounds. So the believers should not take those people who transgress the bounds, meaning the people of ex who are extreme, either extreme in, in takfir, extreme in bid'ah, extreme in declaring people to be mubtadi'ah, extreme in whatever fashion, in extreme in their ibadah, and extreme in worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that no, instead be in the company of the righteous. And Allah the glorified Almighty said, and the day when the unjust one shall bite his hand saying, Oh, would that I had taken away with the apostle. Oh, woe is me. Would that I had not taken such a one for a friend. Certainly he led me astray from the reminder after it, come to, it came to me. And the shaitan fails to aid man. So the shaitan will fail you every time if you take him as an intimate companion. And... These are just some of the benefits that we can gain and we'll continue on in our next sitting. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.